here the experiment can also be repeated for various loads uh, placed in the pan of experimental wire for example initially we found uh, elongation produced for 100 grams mass only for example elongation produced for 100 grams mass is e1 e1 is a uh, we find it as e minus e naught now when we place it 200 grams by adding so some more 100 grams the total elongation suppose that is a uh, e2 here the elongation is for 200 grams can be find like this total reading is e2 if the total reading is e2 now the elongation is elongation is here that is e2 minus e1 here only for 100 grams the elongation is e2 minus e1 here first 100 grams elongation is a e minus e naught and for only second 100 grams mass e2 is the total elongation for 200 grams only for second 100 grams mass elongation is a e2 minus e1 now adding a more 100 grams now total mass present in the pan is 300 grams for a 300 grams total elongation is a e3 total reading is e3 now only for third 100 grams elongation is a e3 minus e2 e3 minus e2 is the elongation only for third 100 grams like this uh, we, we may repeat for 400 grams 500 grams also for 400 grams uh, tot suppose total reading is e4 and uh, only for fourth 100 grams elongation is e4 minus e3 only for fifth 100 grams mass elongation is e5 minus e4 now individual we find for first 100 grams for second 100 grams for third 100 for fourth 100 for fifth 100 grams mass these are the individual elongations now we find here average elongation average elongation is nothing but sum of all these five values divided by five now this gives a uh, average elongation instead of elongation for only first 100 grams mass we find the average elongation for 100 grams mass here these are the elongations for individual 100 grams mass for first 100 grams for second 100 grams for third 100 grams for fourth 100 for fifth 100 grams these are the individual elongations now we find the average elongation for only 100 grams uh, now here m is equals taken as 100 grams it is the average elongation e average for 100 grams mass by substituting all these things uh, we find the Young's modulus of the material of the wire.